good next vlog guys <laughs> if you guys watched last vlog it has been a whole three seconds since i stopped recording that vlog but i wanted to quickly pick up the camera and start the next one because kinsley and i are headed to texas this trip has been postponed many times this is the same flight or the same ticket that i've had since march i have talked to a few people that have traveled i have seen other influencers that have traveled and kind of like filmed their experience i feel okay going i'm gonna protect ourselves i'm not even checking a bag i'm only bringing a carry-on and we are walking in and we are walking out and kinsley and her carrier i gotta find her carrier we haven't traveled in so long i don't even know so she's also totally an emotional support dog so i don't have to pay for her to fly which is good she literally is my emotional support are you my emotional support hey look here are you excited you have to have a bath before we go. So you're pretty. Don't you want to be pretty for your grandma? For your honey? Me? I got a new luggage because when Kinsley comes, her bag sits right on top so that I could just roll the luggage and Kinsley at the same time. But my last luggage just has this opening, you know, so that from the center. And this one I really like because this is the larger expandable carry-on from Away. So you can open the front and I can keep my laptop in here because that's always hard to like undo my purse in insides in here. I guess I need like maybe like a few outfits that are really nice and then just like all this. <laughs> well, basically this. I could go to the airport in this. I've only been wearing it for like an hour. Good morning guys it's the next day and yes i'm in the same outfit i quickly took this off yesterday because i was like oh i'm like really comfortable i should wear this to the airport so i just got on some leggings and a crew neck sweatshirt so i'm comfy and i got everything packed 12 28 we're right on time i am leaving we're leaving he's gonna take me to the airport but i'm gonna miss him i wish you were coming <laughs> wait you're not coming Oh, I'm not going to Texas? <laughs> no! <laughs> Alright, I'll stay. Keep going. Hey, say bye to your baby. Bye. Love you. So we made it through security. There's, I was definitely nervous about all of this, like I told you guys. Um, but there's pretty much more people at the grocery store than there is at the airport. So, so far so good. There's not a lot of people here. Everyone's keeping their masks on distance so we'll see i do have a layover in vegas so we'll see how that goes kinsley <laughs> is cozied up in her bag she just wants to know that the thing is open she doesn't like to be closed in it all the time except for when we're on the plane but she's being such a good girl Looking for me to let's go Take me on this journey home I don't wanna wait no Lay me down behind the moon Tell me you'll be on real soon I don't wanna wait no morning is actually kind of the afternoon here because the time change always throws me off just a little bit it's a two hour time change from LA so it's two hours later um, so I did have a layover in Vegas LAX had no people it was basically like I was 50 feet from everyone which was really good they are filtering fresh air through the um, the plane every two to three minutes there's still nobody sitting in the middle seat so you have that distance at least which is always nice I, I wish that was always I am starving I think she's making maybe BLTs or something okay I'll put you guys here so my mom is making BLT, so we'll eat some lunch. But one of my jobs while I'm here is to, she had to get a new phone. She's had this flip case. I don't even know the brand, not, not a good brand. Or supposed to be a good brand, but not. And she opened the case and look, it's all shattered. She was so hard, were you heartbroken? Heartbroken. <laughs> 
That's yeah. the worst when you spend that much on a phone. That's what happened to me a long time ago. Um, and I never knew it. The case was on it. I never knew it was damaged. I just had didn't invest in a good case. So I was like, okay. Once she was getting a new phone, we definitely needed to get her a better case for her new phone. So Casetify came to our rescue. And thank you to Casetify for sponsoring today's video and getting my mom a new phone case. So that doesn't happen anymore. Because I've had Casetify cases two years now I had it before and then you guys know that I love them they sponsored a video before and sent me some fun cases that you can custom super customize this one mom here's your case she what she picked it out it's all pink because you know she painted my Is art pretty yeah oh sorry I showed them not you <gasps> that's so cute so for extra strength, I actually, I got her the Ultra Impact case, which has these little bumpers on them. All of their cases are um, drop proof. So up to or a little over six feet, you can drop them um, and your phone will be protected. I love prints with like floral. So you can see that this one has the bumper too. And then this is their essentials case. So you can see that it's a little slimmer, still both durable. So I got this one, I customized it with XO. Look, I got their leather case and it has like gold detailing and then it has my name. You can customize like what color your font is, where it goes, what position, and then the color of your case or pick from tons of printed cases like this. Drop tests are always fun. You ready to drop it? <laughs> she said, <laughs> screen's okay. You saw the back, it's okay. I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you made me nervous. I'm ready. One, two, three. Working and she's alive. Yeah. Look how good. See, yeah, but don't drop mine. <laughs> Let mine be a couple of days old before you. So, if you guys are interested in taking a look or customizing one and getting a really good case, and don't let what happened to my mom's phone happen to you, you guys can go to casetify.com slash exo McKenna vlogs to check them out. See the ones that I got. Maybe you, maybe you want this one too. And get 20% off your next case. Military grade drop protection. So it's really, really good. So we are going to eat and then we're gonna tour the neighborhood. You guys know that I've mentioned I was going to be looking for property or a home here or something, just exploring our options. I'm also gonna be doing lots of thrift shopping. Um, so I will see you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna eat real quick. It's a really pretty color in a weird way. It's like a burnt soft beige mustard. Cute. Oh, it's super cute back there. What a cute house. Ooh, skeleton on the bike. It's kind of haunted. <laughs> but kind of cool at the same time. A Scotty dog. Oh my god, it's cutie. That's gorgeous. <laughs> So these are these are all bed and breakfasts here, all down the street. This one is also for sale, and it's green on the inside too. It's cleaned up though, like it's clean. It's, clean. it's big. This is a comfort Pilates. It's a pink house. Good morning, guys. It is officially the next day. And I didn't show you very much of home shopping because I just, I had a lot of ideas about future content and just like putting it together in a different way. Did show you around a little bit, just around the neighborhood here. Um, but I'm gonna be looking in other areas and I just feel like this is such a fun and exciting new adventure for like my life and then bringing you guys along with me. Um, that, I don't know, I got really excited. So I showed you around town, but that's all I'm gonna show for now. And we're gonna do some thrift shopping. I got avocado toast and minestrone soup. And mom got a BLT. Wait, did you get a BLT? A blast. A blast without the avocado. I stole all of her avocado. I like that it has beige wheels. Just lose control. Just lose control. It'll be right this 
pass it on. And we actually like this one. This one's in comfort, but masks always. These are like, um, uh, oh, what are they called? Cool. Lanterns, not lanterns, but, uh -huh. yeah, lanterns? They're just lamps. Oh. They're lamps. Yeah. Look how pretty they are. They are pretty. Oh, they're from Walmart. <laughs> they just got oh, one. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Why are these $4? Snuff jar. What is that? Did you spin in? Put that down. Ew! What? Ew! Absolutely not. Those are cute. But even like this. I just, I got some of these. Uh huh. I got them for 50 cents. I was going to show you the ones that are the flies. Well, aren't these pretty too? Oh, let's see, those are neat. Three the for the pair. Place. Yeah. I wonder if they shine up. It's brass. Probably do. Yeah. This one's $5. Like this. this set's really pretty. Mom. Ooh. That's cool. This whole set's really pretty. I think they're priced individually though. 50, 50 cents or maybe fifty dollars per set? A dollar. They're all priced individually. You can't find brass stuff for a dollar at NLA. I have a sign This is actually so pretty. Which one do we like? I kind of like both of them. Uh, dollars each. I'm kind of getting both. Look at these wall brackets. How freaking cool. Well, they're three dollars a piece. There's Four of them. Let me show my mom. Always find good stuff there. Um, I always get my cream instead of the sanitizer. Oh, your lotion? Yes. <laughs> oh, and my watches that I bought were two dollars for the pair. So a dollar. I mean, who knows if they work? But I actually, don't even. It's more of an accessory, anyways, for me. Next one. So this one is the Kendall County Women's Shelter thrift store, I guess. Mm -hmm. and there's two of them. There's one in Comfort, which is smaller, and then there's this one, which isn't huge, but it's super cute. It's like in this older house. Um, I found all of, like, some of those vintage frames that I put in my breakfast nook in here. So I don't need any more of those, but you know, it's always a good sign when you find something you like. Look at this one, it's so pretty. Oh, that is pretty. It's cute. Two dollars. That's marble. Is it really? For quartz? Is it marble? This one's also pretty pretty because it's like a different shape. How much is this one? Two dollars. 
colors, you guys. Okay, off to the next one. Now we're at, this is the original one that I really liked in Bernie. It's the Hill Country Animal League thrift store. Let's see what they have. I didn't find anything here last time, but you never know. buy anything at that thrift store <laughs> but my mom got the Paris because canister I stole she it. stole it from me <laughs> well I I like she finds don't... everything oh. so cute. and she got it for half off because it was damaged and but I, I liked it. that it was damaged I did too I love it because like some of the terracotta was showing through it has a history life. yeah the, it just tells a story it's so stinking Okay, so we are at, what's it called? Cartel something? Corner Cartel. Corner Cartel. The Corner Cartel. This is um, like a real boutique, not a thrift store. Look at jugs! I can always find them for real price. I want a thrifted jug like that. Not buy it for $625. Also going to be working on my Christmas soon. I'm so excited to share with you guys like all of the ideas that I have. Look at those. Oh, what is this, mom? What is this? I don't know, but I want it. I need it. What do I have to say to keep you by, by my side? How to start in a liquid fire? Need you here to tell me that I'll be okay. Maybe one, love and two, and now it's three. 3 a.m. Thinking what if it's you and me? At the end, maybe we'll be okay. I know that you're coming back home. Look at this, you guys. Real store. $35. Home in the morning, I know that you're coming back home. Having my own conversations. Hoping you will come and say. This stuff is made here too, yeah? Uh -huh. So this room is their oat milk um, collection. So all of the soaps and the body um, bath bombs and stuff is all oat milk. And then that room is goat's milk. And what was the other room? Oat, oat goat's, olive oil. Olive oil. Oh my God, look at some of those. They smell 
so good and they're all made here locally in Burnie. It's called Cielo Mercantile. I'll link it for you guys. There's so many. They just started their website. So I, I love supporting like small businesses. Oh, green tea. I'm sorry, I'm very excited. We made it back from thrift shopping and boutique shopping. We went to one more um, thrift store in Kerrville. Uh, it was just a Goodwill, but my camera had died by then. So I did find some stuff there though. So I was like, <laughs> One of the boutiques that we went to, their soaps smell amazing. This one's called oatmeal soap, it's green tea. And I got sweet herbs, which is also oatmeal. Almond, which smells amazing. I love anything almond smelling, almond oatmeal. Cielo, this is the olive oil base. Ugh. I know, doesn't this smell wonderful? Sweet herb oatmeal bath bomb too. Look how cute, like to get kids, like, really? <laughs> Look how cute these would be. Kids, like, it's not a ball. First thrift store that we went to was here local. Um, it's for the women's, so it supports the women's shelter. And I didn't find any decor there, but I have been on the hunt for sweater vests. Like looking in the men's section everywhere because they're so trendy right now. So I found this sweater vest that's men's obviously, but it's oversized and long. It'll be super cute um, over like a white button down shirt, super trendy. Then we went to one of the favorite ones, which is Pass It On in Comfort locally here. I found this watch for a dollar. I have another watch. Where's my other watch? Oh, wait. I got this gold one too. It was a dollar. First thing that I saw when I walked in there was these. Look at this. Look at these. Tea and coffee. They were a dollar fifty a piece. I love this look. So I had I had to have them. That was definitely coming home with me. This canister, it was uh three fifty. It was a really cool shape because it kind of opened like that. And then it's the canister, so pretty for 350. These I found, I'm a sucker for brass right now. I feel like I gravitate towards brass for like everything, but these were just such a pretty shape. And they were $3 for the pair. And it was $5, but it was, it's just so pretty. I like, I've been kind of collecting the different shapes of them. So we got that too. I also found these two. Did I find all of them? Yeah, I might have found all of these. So I found these two matching sets and I have two of these at home too, but I thought it would be cute for our future shop. <laughs> um, so these were a dollar a piece. And then these are a little different, uh, but these were also a dollar a piece. They're just, they're great for a dollar. Cool kind of shape, how it was kind of like, yeah, cool, it was a dollar. This was the last thing that I got there. It was a dollar. You can see it's like Sharpie on top. I mean, you can't see, but it's like written right there, a dollar. In Bernie, when we drove into Bernie, so the first one, I just found these two, which were two different shapes as well. This one has a marble ball on the center. Look how cool that is. Like I couldn't pass that up. $2, $2. I found something and then my mom, and I was hesitant on it. And my mom was like, I'm getting that. And it wasn't this. You guys might have saw it on my Instagram story. Look at this. Look at this Paris canister. And it was $5.70. Look at the top, even slanted. Well, it's just slanted like that. Since it was damaged here, you can see the terracotta coming through. They gave it to her for half off. Also found this one. I almost bought this one too, and she saw it first. I swear I'm turning my mom into me. This was $1.97, and it's actually a measuring one. It measures here, you can see. And then when my battery died, we went to Goodwill in Kerrville. And well, the first thing that I found were these baskets and I love a good basket. I love a good basket without any handles, a big one. I love to hang them on the walls. This one was $2.99. This guy for $1.99, but it was super unique shape. It was $1.99 at Goodwill. And then I also found this one. It was pretty, it'd be pretty for like fruit or something or hang on a wall too, hung on a wall too. It was $1.09. So I found those three, and then I also found, again, the neon brass. I go through stages, if you haven't noticed. These are actually, they hang on the wall like this, but look how detailed and pretty they are. I think that they used to also have maybe a glass globe. <laughs> so that's something that I can replace, put something on there, or I thought, oddly, they would also be pretty 
hung on the wall this way with to hold your curtains back. I thought they would be super unique. They're a little too deep for that, but I was like, maybe I can come up with a, a different way of using these rather than just as the candle globes on the wall. They were, the set of them were $3.99, so I got two of them, so they were each two bucks. We were about to leave, and I was like, whoa, whoa, why do I like this? Look at this painting. It was $10. And the frame is wood, amazing. And the print is not, a, can you imagine, like 10 bucks? This would make such a statement in a kitchen. Like if you had a galley kitchen like I do with like maybe a skinny wall at the back. I always have so much fun shopping with my mom and just coming down and just like we went house shopping and we, I mean, just looking around you guys. Nothing, nothing crazy, but uh, you know, you never know. That's definitely the next plan for me is to invest in property and take you guys along for the ride and redo the whole thing. So we're looking for something with character, looking for something that needs work, that I can DIY, that I can, you know, invest some time and money in, but turn it into a really beautiful space that either we keep or we sell. Who, who knows? So if you guys did like this video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe to the vlog channel if you're not already subscribed. This is a separate channel than my main DIY channel. So I will see you guys next week for another vlog and for another DIY video. Right, Kinsley? Are you going to say bye? What do I <laughs> bye, guys. Do you don't like all my printed stuff. You didn't know. Side, I'll just start in a little <laughs> Fuck. Need you here to tell me that'll be all.